Oh, look, I think we are live. <clears throat> Welcome everyone to the uh, live stream. Um, so last week, this kind of happened. Uh, <clears throat> hey, uh, hey, Alex, um, do you have you heard about that new back? What do you what do you think about that? Um, yeah, yeah, that uh, back with the institutional investors. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, that was me uh, just about two, three days ago. I had, I was pretty caught off guard with back. And what's weird is I actually have been using the Bitcoin futures a bit, and I have been um, pretty uh, kind of invested in that area in just terms of you know constantly being um, checking it out. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by that a little bit later in this video. But first, what is back? Actually, no. But first. You probably saw in the, the thumbnail that Jim Kramer's on here. I'm going to be a little sorry. He's not going to be in this video. That was from a few years ago on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. So not for this video. But um, let me go ahead and just quickly share my screen um, because, oh boy, I get this wrong every time. Let me make sure I get the right hotkey going on here. Okay, I got it. Um, so here's a little post I just made. Here are some key points. We're just going to go over the key points very quickly, and then we're going to dive right into everything. Um, so what is BAC? BAC is a Bitcoin futures exchange and digital assets platform and founded in 2018 by the ICE, the Intercontinental Exchange. That's basically the exchange that is the owner of the New York Stock Exchange, and they got their fingers in everything uh, Wall Street related. So they're kind of like the big player on uh, the New York <clears throat> on Wall Street. Um, so it's a U.S. company that wants to offer institutional crypto futures uh, trading and assets management. Um, we'll dive into that a little bit more as well. Just let's get some of these terms out of the way. Um, <clears throat> so the CFTC, the Commodities Future Trading Commissions, just gave them the green light uh, to basically to go ahead and they are ready to launch. <clears throat> Someone else that's kind of important that you should probably uh, just you know keep in mind is Kelly LaFleur. I hope I'm saying that name right. Uh, she is the CEO of BAC. And um, the big thing about, um, I would say BAC right off the bat, if you want to just end the video right now, is the fact that they offer big security for institutions to come in there. So let's say if your 401k wants to invest in uh, crypto, now they have an outlet to do that, right? And the second thing of the back um, futures and why they're so interesting, I think they're so interesting, and I think a lot of other people think they're so interesting, is because they offer physically backed futures. And that is one of the big differences that I just kind of hinted on right in the beginning of this video um, with a little bit of futures trading. <clears throat> so um, yeah, let me, let me actually dive into that point because I think that point's really interesting. And then I'm going to dive into a few other things. I'm just going to quickly switch the order up a little bit. I didn't really have too much of a plan, but I opened a, a few things I want to discuss here. And this is really interesting. You, you've definitely probably, definitely probably heard of some Bitcoin features going on and whatnot. Um, and I was doing a little research on this because I couldn't really wrap my head around it. I'm like, wait, there's already other institutions that offer Bitcoin futures trading. I don't really get it. What's going on here? So I went through, um, for example, TD Ameritrade is one of the um, uh, exchanges uh, and brokers that, well, I guess a broker, um, where you can find Bitcoin uh, futures. So I was going through here. I couldn't really figure out um, you know, what the difference was. Um, and then I read this article from TD Ameritrade a little bit deeper. And then I found it. I found this. Um, I found what I was looking for. And here, here it was. At TD Ameritrade, we don't allow clients to take physical delivery, so the expiring contracts need to be closed prior to settlement. So <clears throat> with futures, if you don't already know what futures is, it's basically set up. So let's say the classic example would be a farmer, right? The farmer wants to know that in the future they can buy or maybe some seeds or sell their crops at a given price. So they say, <clears throat> listen, I want to buy, let's say, um, Bitcoin seeds or whatever, um, just seeds at, let's say, $10,000, right? And in the future, I don't want to have to, you know, worry if the price is more expensive or if it's cheaper. I just want that price because I need to do my business calculations for that. So I'm going to give you a little bit of premium. I'm going to give you, let's say, $500 to guarantee me that price uh, in X date in the future, right? That's really what futures is in a nutshell. <clears throat> One second, coffee break. 
So what with um, so now how so where where does this whole you know physical and um, non physical uh, thing take place and why is Back so important? Back is the first um, cryptocurrency um, platform. Um, asset management for the futures that will allow in physical settlement. So with Coinbase, I mean with, uh, sorry, I always trade on Coinbase, with TD Ameritrade, the big thing is that they don't allow physical settlement. They require cash settlement in advance. So basically, on that date in the future, you're never going to get any um, Bitcoin seeds or whatever you might be uh, dealing with. The thing you will be getting is simply the cash value. So you can go take that cash and then buy it somewhere else. So it's a little bit different. Um, it's more of an arbitrage uh, move, I guess you can say, um, but it's not really uh, physical backed futures. So that was always the big difference. Um, so just, I want you guys to keep that in mind because that was one thing that I was having a hard time wrapping my head around. And actually here, here was, here is an example of um, Bitcoin futures on TD Ameritrade. This platform is Thinkorswim. This is the platform I use most of the time for my uh, day trading when it comes to equities. And so, you know, here you can see the futures contracts right now, the market is closed. So obviously not too much going on. Um, but just in general, you know, this has always been there. Well, not always, but um, for a few months, and I think in early 2019, this launched. I would have to check that again, but um, I've been watching this uh, most this year. So at first, I was a little confused with the back release because that part of the physical contracts and the non-physical contracts, so basically cash settlement futures, um, I wasn't really aware of that at first. So um, that was a big eye-opener to me, and um, I think it's really interesting and something you should really take away um, from this back launch. Um, let me go ahead and just close that because... Who knows, it might be slowing down my live stream. Okay, so here's a few things that I also want to mention. Um, this is, where is she again? This is Kelly Lafleur. Lafleur. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, this is her right here. And this is a pretty interesting article by Fortune. And a big thing about this article that I went through and um, I know what is one of my big takeaways was the I can't find it right now. I had this article, this part highlighted, but I'll just kind of say it out of memory. You guys can check this article out on your own time. All the links are in the video description below um, is basically the fact that um, they are working with very big institutions um, from Microsoft to you know what? Actually, I think this is I talked about this somewhere as well. Uh, Uh, yeah, I had these f highlighted and I took a picture of a few of them, but I don't think I managed to take a picture of this one. Basically, they're working with a lot of larger institutions that might want to offer this in terms of, you know, payment services or just some sort of risk management or diversification or, um, you know, offering, uh, let's say, you know, if, if Bitcoin, I mean, if let's say Amazon wants to offer uh, or Windows wants to offer payment solutions, um, they can use the back platform uh, to you know store their Bitcoin assets. And a big thing that I've read in these few articles, so <clears throat> uh, Kelly came out with uh, three uh, Medium articles recently, and I would say the theme of each one from the introduction uh, to back from uh, which launched last year in August, and then this one uh, launch update in November last year. Um, a lot of these things come down to this right here, Institu institutional grade crypto warehouse solution. So basically um, the having security, right? A lot of um, people and myself um, have a big, I guess, um, I guess some sort of lack of trust when it comes to you know storing your crypto. Where do I store it? Do I store it on a cold wallet? Do I store it on an exchange? Um, where's the safest place? Because nothing you know I guess would be a perfect solution. Um, I myself has have been hacked. If you check out a few videos ago, you can see uh, where I tell a, my whole entire hack story. Um, so I think that's a big thing. So where do you store a Bitcoin? What's a safe like place to uh, store my Bitcoin, especially if I'm going to move over, you know, 200, 400 million dollars, like a lot of these institutions are moving over um, apparently every week. So, you know, you want to have a really clear answer for that. And I think that is one of the big things that BAC uh, offers. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so let's see here. Um, one cool place to get a lot of news right off the bat. I just followed them myself. Oh, well, I thought I did, but it looks like I maybe unfollowed them. I don't know what happened. Um, if 
is just their back Twitter um, post. This is how I found a lot of the articles. Um, this this one I wanted to point out specifically that back retweeted from Frank Chaparro. God, these these last names are really killing me today. Anyway, um, he points out two reasons why uh, backed is really important. And first, obviously. Uh, one, the physically back delivered Bitcoin futures to be traded on a regular market. Um, so it's better hedging tool for some investors, as I've told him apparently. But the the really the point that we already talked about is the physically backed uh, Bitcoin futures um, makes a big difference. <clears throat> and they got the green light uh, operate as a trust from the NYDFS. I would have to check what that acronym stands for. New York. I don't know, uh, which opens the doors to a wide arrangement of financial products. So yeah, all these institutions from your 401k to potentially mutual funds, hedge funds, ETFs, this is a kind of, you know, opens the door for all those things to kind of get the ball rolling. So that's why it's such big news. Um, and the retail investors like you guys and me um, really need to watch out because um, this might really move the price. And if you want to see um, what I think about the charts, check out yesterday's video or uh, the weekly trade review where I talk about all the charts and whatnot um, and my kind of upcoming forecast. But in a little nutshell, let me quickly go to the Bitcoin and go to the four hour and just do like, oh, that was a little trade alert that just went off. One second. So this is the four hour that we were talking about yesterday. Um, let me zoom out a little bit here. This computer is going a little bit slow. Um, so we're just in this uh, bear flag. And uh, about Monday morning, I drew this line before we broke out um, in my, I make five morning watch this video every week. So if you wanna check that out, there's links in the video description below. Um, but I always talk about you know what's going on, uh, what my trading uh, what trading opportunities are, day trading, swing trading, all that fun stuff every morning. And I was basically saying, um, oftentimes it happens where you have one of these uh, bear flags, especially with ascending triangles, and there's a small breakout to the upside, and then the price, um, you know, it, it tries to get as many people on the wrong side as possible, and then the price continues to the downside. And I think also this back news is going to get a lot of people on the wrong side of the trade. Um, we've already had multiple rejections to the upside, and we're already overextended uh, in the longer, I would say, midterm price. I mean, we had a massive run up, about 300%, uh, a bit more than that, I think even 400% um, from early 2018. One second, I got to get rid of this alert because it's going crazy. Um, and the, now I'm going to lose my train of thought. One second, I got to move this down because it's going to keep going off. I'm going to move it way down here, this little alert. Um, this is for all my day trading that I do. Um, one second, I have to quickly confirm that I moved the alert. That should come up any second. Save, and then back to Bitcoin. So back to what I was saying, I think this um, backed alert is going to get a lot of retail traders on the wrong side of the trade. Why? Because I think institutions, they want the price to go back down so they can keep averaging up their price. They want to average, have their cost per unit under $9,000, I believe. I believe they also have been averaging in the whole time the price is under $9,000. Um, however, with this kind of bullish news out that retailer investors are going to see and they just might get FOMO and just jump in, um, I think right now they're going to be buying um, on the way down. So for me, I average in with Bitcoin every week. So I'll, you know, it's I take the guessing game kind of out of it. Uh, I'm pretty long term with Bitcoin, um, but for a lot of my uh, swing trading, especially with the altcoins. Um, I'm definitely a bit more bearish short term, and I'm going to be looking for a bit more pullback before I enter any positions. And I think on Bitcoin as well, I think there's more uh, downside. Um, let the news sit in, uh, sink in, let um, you know some FOMO kick in, and let some just you know uh, some FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt kick in as the price moves down to really get some better um, price entries. Because right now um, we just had a nice short term run up, but we're still in these really high territory. Uh, areas and um i think there's just better downside potential in terms of waiting and um yeah averaging into a uh, longer swing position or an investing position so that's kind of my forecast on what i think on about the back what i think uh just in general oh yeah by the way uh september 23rd is when the futures i see futures are supposed to launch now this is really not something for retail investors i will not have my fingers on this unfortunately um this is really for institutional investments i think um i heard um on the grapevine that i think the minimum was a 10 bitcoin um per contract 
I would have to look into that. I have not found that exact number on this website. I just kind of heard it. Um, so yeah, I mean, check it out all on your own time. All the links I have, you know, I got all my information from are in the, uh, are in this uh, description and the video description below. So definitely, you know, take some time, check it out. I would love to hear what you guys think uh, between back and some futures and um, just everything, especially with these institutions coming in. Um, and also let me know what you guys think about this little coffee chat. Is it fun? It's my first one, a little live stream. Hopefully I didn't look too nervous. It was a lot of things I usually don't talk about. Um, I typically, um, I'm more focused on technical analysis, charts, trading, all that fun stuff. If you've been following this channel for even a little bit, you probably already know that. Um, but we're already at 15 minutes. I don't want to go much longer. So I think I'm going to end it right there. Um, I hope this chat was fun. And um, again, guys, check out, oh, I'm coming out with a video tomorrow on the, on how much money you actually need to get uh, started with trading. So make sure uh, to subscribe and hit that bell icon too if you wanna check out that video and you wanna get a notification. Otherwise guys, please leave a like if you uh, found this video helpful. I'm gonna finish my coffee and uh, hopefully make a, at least one more good trade today. All right, everyone, stay safe. Um, make some awesome trades and until next time, ciao, ciao.